Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason and you're watching Old Car Auto Guy. Today is Reviews Day and today we're going to review my 2012 Ford F-150. Now normally I would go to Facebook and Instagram and give you guys a choice on which vehicles that you wanted to see. But because this F-150 is the only truck I have on my lot at the moment, you don't have much of a choice. So let's take a look. And there you have a pretty detailed look on the exterior and interior of this 2012 Ford F-150 XL. And yes, it's an XL, but it does have cruise control and air conditioning. Also, the fact that it's four-wheel drive, it does only carry the 3.7 liter V6, and not to be confused with 3.5 twin turbo. Although this thing is very well equipped with horsepower, I'll put those numbers right here so that you can take a look. It does not have the get up and go of the 5 liter or the twin turbo V6, but it will get the job done. At 186,000 kilometers, this thing still has lots of life left in it, and for a work truck, it's going to have a little bit of experience. Let's take a look at that. Now, I'm not going to go over every single little mark on this truck. Although this truck is in really good shape, because it's a work truck, it does have a few dents, dings, scratches, etc. So, as you can tell by the front bumper, I'd say they got a little too close to something there once upon a time. Due to the miles, you can see it has a few rock chips across the front of the hood. A little bit of a ding in the front fender. A few dents on the roof. Lots of experience in the bed. And a few marks along the top of the tailgate. And whatever they fell in love with on the front bumper, they must have got a good kiss here too. It does have a little crack on the mirror here and over here. The truck is licensed until April and inspected till May 2019. Those Cooper Discoverers are like new. As we come to the inside of this truck, you are going to note that obviously because it's an XL, we do have just crank windows and uh, manual door locks. The seat, there's nothing automatic about that. You've got your recline setting here and you've got a little bit of a lumbar support there. As we jump into the driver's seat, there's your cruise control. And there's your air conditioning. It does have tilt wheel as well as delay wipers. And there's your four wheel drive shift knob on the dash. And because this is a fleet vehicle, it will seat three up front. However, the center folds down for an armrest. As we start up, you'll note there are no lights on on the dash, just the seat belt because I'm not wearing mine yet. Now there are all kinds of little storage compartments in this truck. You've got a little one here and one over here. And as we open up the glove box, 
you've got your owner's manual in there as well. Each door is fully equipped with a cup holder as well as a back pocket. And you've only got the passenger side vanity mirror. None over here. Now there's a reason why Ford F-150 has been the number one selling truck in Canada for the last 20 plus years, 25 years. And that's because they know how to make a truck that is inexpensive and reliable. I say inexpensive tongue in cheek because we all know trucks are expensive these days, no matter what brand you're buying. But when it comes to fleet vehicles, Ford has this one down pat. It's well equipped with air conditioning and cruise control, so as far as I'm concerned, it's all I need. But there is still those contractors out there who are looking for an eight foot bed and don't really care about passengers. So when you come looking for a work truck, take a look at this Ford F-150. Let's go for a drive. So I'm the type of guy who is all about the fuel economy, even when it comes to trucks. But when I got looking up the fuel economy for this truck, and I'll post that right here so you can see, I didn't find that big of a difference between the 3.7 liter V6 and the 5 liter V8 which was available in this thing. So I think if I had my choice, I'd certainly go for the power and the sound of that Coyote V8. So let's test the cruise control. Cruise control works fine. Hit the accelerate button. It doesn't even downshift, it just picks up a few kilometers an hour. And one thing I will say about this truck is how tight it is. Although it's a fleet vehicle, I'll probably use the job site quite a bit. There's not a squeak or a rattle in it. So there's nobody coming behind us. We're ready for a hard break and a quick acceleration. Hard break in three, two, one. Ooh. ABS works. And now we're going up through the gears. That didn't take long, but she definitely made a lot of noise. And that's just a result of the uh, little bit of lack of power that this 3.7 has over the Coyote V8. Now one thing to note, this vehicle has been fully serviced through our shop, so with that smooth braking, that tells me that the brakes were serviced and or replaced. So if you are a contractor, or you're just somebody looking for a regular cab, four-wheel drive truck, well look no further. We've got $14,995 on this truck, it's a 2012, and with the way prices are going on trucks today, you can't beat it. It's still financeable, you're still going to get the 90-day, 3,000-kilometer warranty, and don't forget about all of our financing options. We can accommodate anybody. Our end of summer sale is almost over, so no reasonable offer will be refused on this truck. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I really like the fact that you guys are liking and you're starting to comment a little bit more on my videos. If you haven't done so, please, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button because we've got some really good stuff coming up on the Project Kia. You don't want to miss it. My inner redneck just might come out. So guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys. God bless. We will see you in the next upload. One last thing that I want to mention to you guys that I did not want to forget, which I did, so I'm coming back and doing it now. T-shirts and hoodie, old car, auto guy, are on sale right now. The link is in the description below. Don't forget, it is a limited time offer. We are only offering so many this time around. So pre-order at the link in the description below. Thanks guys.